Hey YouTube, I wanted to come and do a quick face of the day video. I was not going to do this until my sister told me to go ahead and do it and sort of have it documented with a look and I guess that makes sense. Just in case I might want to do it again or just to have like a video portfolio type of thing. Um, I am going to tell you all the 10,000 things that it took to achieve this look and then I will take my glasses off so you can actually see. Um, I did use a couple of new products and I used something that I have not used in a very, very long time. So we will start, we will start with my foundation and I am trying to get back into using this. I kind of fell out of love with it, but I put it on today and I kind of like it a lot. And this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Plus Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum. So I use that as my foundation. Um, to set that, I use the BH Studio Pro Pressed Powder. And this is in the shade 250, which looks like that. Um, I even contoured a little bit. So the contour for contour or well, for the highlight part, I use the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer, and this is in the color Almond. And that went here down the bridge, bridge my, down the length of my nose. It went here. It went here, and under my eyes. Um, I even sort of lightly contoured a little bit and I used the Shea Moisture Illuminating Powder in Mandalay Dusk. And that looks like this. For blush, I used um, a Milani Powder Blush in the color T Rose. Uh, this color I think is still available. I think this color was made permanent. Um, for highlight, I used something new that I just picked up two, no, yesterday from Walmart and that is the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection to Reflect Shimmer Palette and this is in the color Hollywood Boulevard and I thought I had this one but apparently this is a new one so I picked this one up and it has a really pretty really pretty sheen to it it looks like that and of course it shears out very pretty on your on the face so it looks like that um the eyes were the biggest part of this whole look of course on my brows I used the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown and I actually shaped my brows today so I used my um studio finish concealer which very well not very soon but soon I will need another one and this is in the color NW35 very well loved as you can see as a transition color another very well loved item and this is a MAC eyeshadow matte in the color saddle um on oh I didn't tell you my other face powder I'll tell you that in a minute on the lids I used two Urban Decay palettes. I used the 15th Anniversary palette, which is, as you know, no longer available. And I used the color Deep End. I used the color Evidence. So this is like a teal blue. This is like a sort of navy blue, but not a deep, deep navy blue. And then I used the color Blackout. Um, those are the three colors I used out of that palette and the other colors I used was from the new Urban Decay Vice Limited palette which of course I had to get because they said it was limited which looks like this and I used the colors um, Freak Show which is which is the purple and I use Junk Show which is that pink 
and I also used the color Anonymous on the brow bone. Um, oh, and I used the color Blitz, which is that gold, that pretty gold in the inner corner of my eye. Um, on the inner third of my eyelid and in the inner corner, I used the color Last Sin. So it seems like I used a heck of a lot <laughs> of eyeshadows. Um, eyeliner, I used... And I don't have... Okay, so I used two... Let me scoot up a bit. I used two um, eyeliners. The liquid eyeliner that I used on my lash line. And I did create a winged eyeliner. I mean, a winged... Yeah, I used, did a winged eyeliner today. And I used the BH Cosmetics BH Liquid Eyeliner. And I will show... I love this. I have never been able to do a decent winged liner until I picked that up. It is a felt tip marker. Love it. And on the lower lash line, I used Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Pencil and Perversion. And I used that on the waterline. And then I used the Blackout Shadow to kind of um, smudge it out. Then... For lashes and I hardly ever do lashes and I can feel these lashes and I can feel them because I hardly ever wear them but I use the Andrea strip lashes and I'll put this back in because I'm going to save these lashes um Andrea strip lashes the number 33 I used mascaras on my lower lashes the it cosmetics tight line full lash length black primer and you know the brush on this is really small so I, I love it for lower for my lower lashes and then on my upper lashes I use Urban Decay's Perversion Mascara I have been using that all week and loving it um oh for a setting powder I use something really really new and this is from Too Faced it is the Too Faced um Hashtag TF No Filter Selfie Powder. And I used it in the color Totally Toasted. Let me know if you want me to do a review on this. Um, yeah, and let you know how it's supposed to work. I can do a video on that. Then, I think to wrap it up, and then I'll show you my look. On my lips, I used... A NARS Audacious lipstick and this is in the color Anna which looks like that so much going on in the eyes I didn't want a whole lot going on on my lips um, I lined my lips with Mac chestnut and on top of that to give it some shine I used a bare minerals marvelous moxie in the color natural beauty so I am going to take my glasses off so you can see this I did post some um, pictures on Instagram and you can follow me on Instagram same name as it is here in ECW Beauty um, I will take my glasses off I will zoom in first and let's see can we go down we can't go down anymore so I won't zoom in too much but I will take the glasses off and show you my look and close my eyes and you can see and I will tell you that I initially started out wanting to do a um, or trying to practice a Indian bridal makeup look I don't know what this turned into but I am going to continue to practice I do like the look that I came up with today but I really don't think it's an Indian bridal look it was inspired by Indian bridal makeup so we'll leave it at that but that is it you all this is very dramatic for me normally I come on here and my eyes are like very very neutral in the videos I do tomorrow my look is probably going to be very neutral I'm going to try to do a spring tutorial thank you all so much for watching have a good day